Freakazoids is going on. We're traversing space and time dimensions. This is like putting bacon on bacon, transcoding bacon verse. The space and bacon continuum. There's a lot of these pods out here. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others. Before it, when it did not, the beast stood, rose up on its legs, and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but it could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did something like... Uh, what? Some... It did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned towards the beast, pointing at it like needles. But the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast-like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Whoa. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Oh. Abstruse Tales. Hello, Noah Poa! Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding. Abstruse Tales, America's Finest Fiction. Featuring Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding. Plus Julian West, Michael Arden, Clarence Clarice, and many others. Travis the Fishman, Gaylord. This place is eerie as hell. Alright, I'm just going to fix something up here that's bugging me. There we go. And that. No, that and like that. And there we go. Alright. So. Are this a scary game? Well, it's more mysterious and spooky than outright scary. Is what I would say. It has had its few jump scares, but it's more more of a spooky experience. It feels eerie, I would say. I really like it though. It's really interesting. Okay, so was that everything that was in the forest? Or is there anything else to be found? If we check behind it, is there anything else around here? And the soundtracks are great though. I really like it. The 
It's been a while since I've been this intrigued by a new game that I played. There's no real action, it's just mysterious and eerie. I'm just going to lower the complete volume a bit because it's a bit loud. Let's lower it to 80. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can find anything else in this forest part. Because it feels like it might be something else in here. But I might be totally wrong. It's a pathway that leads upwards at least. Will it lead me to something new, or just to something I've already been at? Oh, it leads me up here again. Okay, I was here. Uh, it's probably one of those places I will have to visit later, I would guess. For being an indie game, the graphics are fantastic, the storyline is intriguing, and I have no idea about anything. It doesn't guide me, it doesn't... Totally, yeah, I believe you pizza. Of course I do. Okay, there are three views. I don't count viewers. Never have. Doesn't matter to me. I don't talk about numbers. Okay, let's see. have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Okay. Uh, I somehow managed to get stuck. I'm still holding your beard. Yeah. That is fine. Okay, is there anything over here? No. This game is totally not giving me any hints on what to do whatsoever. Which in itself is great. Okay, we have a continuation of this track here. So we'll check that out first. Whoa, that's a nice house. Someone is living at large. <laughs> I'm still scared. It's actually very spooky, in its own way. I mean, I played scary games, and I mean real scary games, but this game is giving me feels on another level. Call an adult! I need an adult! What? Call a cougar? That's not really an adult, is it? 
I keep thinking there should be something to check out everywhere, but I keep going past something. But I'm not. Okay, so... I'm in the living area. Which is something new, apart from the old forest we see. Trust me, I'm a great reader of people. I sincerely doubt this. through too many portals, been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting. Whenever I return, I bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things. Memories without homes. Two way choices. I'm taking this path. Is there a map or something? No. There's no map, no anything. Nothing to show me the slightest hint of where I'm supposed to go or how I'm supposed to get there. Wall, yes. Music to guide me. No anything. It really is just leading me on a wild goose chase. Oh, hello. An old spooky cavern. Kuga <laughs> scaring you. Why? And definitely how? Let's continue upwards, see if we can find anything up here. I don't know. I feel like I might be on the wrong track here. But I'm not sure. What do the dead have to say? You'd be surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk down stairs that disappear beneath their feet. Headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. Okay. Lydia's argument. Yeah. Hello, Sneaky. How are you? Okay. Keep feeling that I should be finding something, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, we're back, or at least at house. Can we? No, can't check that door. Oh, hello. This is the graveyard. Whoa! 
This is dark. I don't have anything to light it up with. It's also by a tombstone, there's supposed to be a crowd. Ah, over here. Burnt matches, oil can, spill oil, round stain. Pile of bricks, work dropped, interrupted, wheelbarrow. Oh, here's some gravestones. And there's that gravestone. And the crow was supposed to be around so you could see that thing. I don't really remember what angle from. Let's see. Oh, hello. Whoa! Signs of struggle? <laughs> Hello Roy, how are you doing? Victim killed, wounded. Blood stain. Okay. Can I go into this place? Yeah, I can. Oh, this is dark. I need a lantern or something. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Thank you for the lantern. Whoa! Oh, it's just that crow we were supposed to find out here somewhere. I have a scared soul. <laughs> 